Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 24th session of the National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia was held. The 7th session of the 2nd Convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, reported by Vresh Abramian. At a meeting with Lavrov, Mirzoyan stressed the issue of vandalism and desecration measures by Azerbaijan. The CE report has two meanings. The archaeologists explained the meaning. The possible cause of the swamp in the Tafshanga area of Javak was mentioned. Ria Novosti deleted an interview with Artsakh State Minister Artak Begladian. UNESCO is witnessing vandalism by Azerbaijan in occupied territories of Artsakh, permanent representative of the Republic of Armenia. On June 8, 2022, the 24th session of the National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia was held, which was attended by 18 deputies. The issues on the agenda were discussed. The deputies were asked who would like to present their candidacy at the next elections as a deputy, the chairman of National Assembly, and the next president of Western Armenia. The NS speaker presented a bill according to which 2023 is considered an election year, during which from February to November, candidates for deputies can begin collecting signatures to become deputies during the third convocation of 2024. The NA president also read out the decree of Western Armenian president on the appointment of Pablo Tailanyan to post of honorary consul of Western Armenia in Uruguay. At the end of the meeting, the agenda for the next meeting was adopted. During the seventh session of the second convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia held on May 28, and a deputy member of Commission of National Assembly of Veterans and People with Disabilities and Patriotic Public and Community Organizations, Chairman of National Association of Veterans, Armenian Soldiers, Liberators, and like minded people, flag bearer Western Armenia Vresh Abramian presented a report in which he particular says I was born on June 26, 1936. I have three children, Armenak, Shushan and Anush. The pass I have taken is similar to the pass taken by Mr. Jean Kazarosyan. I present my report on activities for one year. I participated in religious and patriotic ceremonies in Antip, Cannes and other cities of France and also paid tribute to the memory of those killed on the war in the same cities. I had the honor to be present with the flag of Western Armenia at the exhibition, the Armenian heritage of Artsakh and Western Armenia. In a few days I will take part in Antip, the conference, the Black Sea, the heart of Europe, which will be held at the House of Veterans Associations, headed by the Chairman of National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian. I have meeting with officials of various municipalities. At the end of May, with the flag of Western Armenia, I participated in 19 patriotic events. Until the end 2022, we will continue to jointly hold commemoration ceremonies for our dear compatriots who died. I sincerely thank all the deputies of Western Armenia who are doing a wonderful job. During the next news release, we will present reports and speeches by other participants of the 7th session. During a joint press conference with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said, within a framework of demarcation process between Armenia and Azerbaijan, it is not investigated to consider any issue outside the Azerbaijan-Armenian state border, including in connection with the territories where the Russian peacekeeping contingent is temporarily stationed. And Armenian Foreign Minister Arad Mirzoyan stressed that the problem of preserving the numerous cultural and religious monuments of Artsakh, which turned out to be under the control of Azerbaijan armed forces, against the background of vandalism and desecration measures requires immediate international involvement. We cannot but also know the Armenian phobic and expansionist rhetoric of top leadership of Azerbaijan, the ongoing provocations and periodic violation of the ceasefire regime, Mirzoyan said. Turkeologist Dean of the Faculty of Oriental Studies of Yerevan State University, Ruben Melkonyan, on Sputnik Armenia touched upon the CEF report on Turkey. There are various stable words in a big political trade, and the issue of genocide of Armenians, Armenian and Kurdish issues are very often raised to put pressure on Turkey, Melkonyan said. According to his observation, in comparison with other structures in the case of this European structure, one can state that, first of all, continuity in terms of sometimes touching on the topic of genocide of Armenians. Touching upon the accent of the report, the archaeologist noted that they are quite correct and clear, not only in terms of recognition of the genocide, but also in terms of preserving Armenian culture and spiritual structures located on the territory of Turkey. This document has at least two meanings. Firstly, to state that Turkey is going to settle relations with Armenia without making any conclusions or positive steps in terms of opposing history. And secondly, it is also a clear indicator that the phenomenon called the era of peace of Turkey has nothing to do with the reality the same Turkey that continues its anti-human and genocidal thinking this day, Melkonyan said. 
near the bridge of the village of Bavra below by the residents of Hohokalak in Tavshanga. It is swampy. Local authorities call frequent precipitation the reason. Hohokalak Service Center reported that the water supply is closer to the road and can have nothing to do with the water logging of the area. A possible cause of water logging in a surface center is called either the appearance of a new spring or heavy precipitation. Ramaz Khutishvili, head of environmental service department of Hohokalak Municipality, Ecology Department, said that the mayor's office is aware of the problem, and if the problem deepens, the installation of the dialage system will be indicated as the solution of the problem. Eyewitnesses claim that two weeks ago there were no traces of swamp. The Russian news agency RIA Novosti removed from its website an interview with the state minister of Republic of Artsakh, Artak Beglarian, after the publication of which the website was blocked in Azerbaijan. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan, in connection with the blocking of website due to the interviews with Beglarian, stated that Russian state agencies illegally spread slanderous information that opposes their territorial integrity and Azerbaijan stimulates separatist tendencies. Read the interview at the following link on our official website. By joining UNESCO, Armenia has expressed the contribution of its culture to the heritage of humanity. However, we must also evaluate this membership with the participation of the country in the activities of the organization. Over the years, Armenia has been involved in the implementation of UNESCO's mandate and the dissemination of universal values of which it is the guarantee. Where are following with concern the dangers threatening the culture heritage in the conflict regions, the cases of destruction of thousands of Khachkars in the Armenian cemetery of Nahijevan, even today, despite the efforts of the Director General, UNESCO is powerless and witnessing the destruction and other causes of vandalism against the Armenian culture values located in the territory of Artsakh occupied by Azerbaijan. Yes, we need to do everything to save the endangered heritage, Ambassador Christian Ter Stepanyan, permanent representative of Armenia to UNESCO, said in his speech. Now, musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.